guys, in today's review we'll be looking at this Oxford Rail item and this item has been out for a few years now but I finally got round to getting one and this item is a Piltred wagon, I believe it's for maintenance trains and I believe this is era 4 and 5 if I've got this correct. The product code for this one is OR76PIL001. I got mine from Kerno Model Shop for just under £20. Like I said these have been out for a while, I finally got around to getting one. Something different for me to review and would look good on a few freight trains, I believe. So let's get into review and see if these are actually worth £20 or not, shall we? With this pilchard wagon, you do get some details to add to yourself. And they've been chain link couplings for the end of the wagons. They are plastic and in a sealed bag. Depending on your preference at the front or the back of the pilchard wagon, we do have plastic black buffers, the one sprung, doesn't bother me, it keeps the cost down. We also have a small AM coupling. We have a hook, a few rivets, and most of the things here on black. There's quite a lot of rivets actually. We also have some bracing as well. There is a fine metal bar running across from wheel to wheel as well. And there's a hook too, which is in black. Moving on to the side of this pilchard wagon, both sides to me are exactly the same from what I can see. Let's talk about the livery. Oxford Rail have got this livery down as a BR black version, but it's not as grey. It just could mean the frames or the details that's black. Most things on this is picked out in black as you can see. We also have a number for this pilchard wagon, which is DB990099. We also have the word pilchard as well on the wagon. We also have a maker's plate as well, which I think could be an eastern one. We have some bracing as well. And then we have four wheels, two either side at the ends. The wheels themselves are metal, the wheels that are in the bogies anyway. And we also have some bogey detail as well, like springs and stuff. But most of the stuff on this wagon is plastic to keep the cost down, which I don't mind. But everywhere you look, there's quite a lot of detail. As we do a look inside this pilchard wagon now, there's not really much to look at. From the outside, you can see the bracing that I was talking about. There are either ends. We also can see, I think it's metal welded floor, which is in black, with a load of rivets on there. Then the sides are painted this dirty cream colour. Fairly enough, there's not really much to look at. You can see the buffers as well. And finally, as we do an underneath look at this pilchard wagon now. Again, you can see the bogies do have a grooving for the wheels, make them turn. The couplings are not attached. They're only attached to the body, not the bogies, which is great. And they are pocket ones as well. We have a bit of bracing on the underframe as well. We also have some of the welding marks from the top. Fairly nice, got Oxford on there, and that's really about it. There's not really much to look at. But for a cheap wagon, which looks highly detailed, not bad.
see you guys, that's the end of the review and running session. Before I give my opinion on it, I'll tell you what it ran with, which was basically the Hornby Fantastic uh, LNER B1. It's one of the best B1s out there. The train was made up of mainly miscellaneous items in my collection, so mainly like war wells, flatbeds, that sort of thing, and an LNER toad at the back. I don't really run these sort of things, but I have today. Look quite nice actually in this, this sort of train. I know it's not prototypical, but I like it. So I got this from Kerno Model Shop and I paid £19.95p. Originally when these came out a few years ago, I think they were £15, brand new. And Oxford Rail always give you good money, uh, good value for your money, sorry. You get the plastic chain links to add if you want to. Okay, they kept the cost out with no sprung buffers, metal or anything like that. Which doesn't bother me, I prefer not to have spoon buffers if it keeps the cost down. I'm all for that. The detail itself is fantastic. I can't really pick it out for any issues or anything like that. Personally, but I don't know much about these. I believe they were coach chassis originally. I could be wrong. And then they got made into the pilchard wagon. The only issue I do have, which I don't quite understand, is Oxford Rail had this down as BR Black. Like I said in the... Detail part, I'm not sure what they mean by BR Black, because to me it looks more grey than anything. But yeah, that's the only really thing I could pick Oxford Rail on. The price is quite keen as well. The price is like at £20. That's pretty good for this day and age when something like this would probably cost you more. £35, maybe £40 plus, the way things are going. So for me, even though it's a miscellaneous item in my collection, it's a thumbs up for me. I don't mind the plastic bits. I definitely don't mind the price. The price is quite good. So for me, it's a form of highly recommend these, and these are northeastern based, the eastern region of BR, I believe. That's what they're for. It's a big thumbs up for me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. So please take care and goodbye. <laughs>